Hurricane Matthew strengthened slightly and remained a dangerous Category 4 storm with sustained winds of 145 miles per hour on Monday night as it closed in on Haiti. Matthew's long-range track continued to shift to the west, raising the threat for Florida's east coast, and a state of emergency was declared for the entire state. The National Hurricane Center said direct hurricane impacts are possible later this week in Florida, and then possibly later farther north in Georgia and the Carolinas. Tropical storm and slash or hurricane watches will likely be issued Tuesday morning for part of the Florida Peninsula and the Florida Keys, the Hurricane Center said. Hurricane Matthew was on a path that was expected to take the storm near or over Haiti late tonight or early Tuesday. Cuba will be next. Then the Bahamas, where hurricane watches were upgraded to hurricane warnings on Monday night. As of the last advisory, at 10 p.m. CDT Monday, the center of Hurricane Matthew was located about 190 miles southwest of Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and was moving north at 7 miles per hour. Matthew's winds increased to 145 miles per hour, making it a powerful Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir-Simpson wind scale. The Hurricane Center said fluctuations in strength were likely over the next few days, but Matthew will still be a formidable storm as it moves close to Haiti and Cuba. Matthew's central pressure dropped Monday night, raising concerns it could intensify even further as it closes in on Haiti. Hurricane warnings covered parts of the Caribbean on Monday, including Haiti, the Cuban provinces of Guantanamo, Santiago de Cuba, Halguin, Granma, and Las Tunas and the southeastern and central Bahamas. A hurricane warning was downgraded to a tropical storm warning for Jamaica. A hurricane watch was in effect for the Cuban province of Camagüey, the Turks, and Caicos Islands and the northwestern Bahamas. A tropical storm warning was in effect for the Dominican Republic from Barahona westward to the border with Haiti. And a tropical storm watch was in effect for the Dominican Republic from Puerto Plata westward to the border with Haiti. Haiti was expected to start experiencing hurricane conditions from Matthew tonight, and they will reach eastern Cuba on Tuesday, the Hurricane Center said. The Hurricane Center warned those in Hispaniola, the Bahamas, the Florida Keys and Florida Peninsula to keep a close watch on Matthew. Matthew was forecast to bring high winds and storm surge to the warning area, but one of the biggest concerns was rainfall, especially for Haiti, the southwestern Dominican Republic and eastern Cuba. National Hurricane Center Director Dr. Rick Nab said staggering rainfall totals would be possible for those areas during an online update on Monday. The Hurricane Center said 15 to 25 inches of rain will be possible across southern Haiti and the southwest portion of the Dominican Republic. Isolated areas could get up to 40 inches of rain, which could cause deadly flash flooding and mudslides. Haiti has steep terrain and is one of the most deforested countries in the world, making it prone to landslides. Fortunately, one of Haiti's most populous areas, the capital Port-au-Prince, is on relatively flat land. The rest of Haiti and eastern Cuba will also receive rain, but not as much, the Hurricane Center said 8 to 12 inches of rain will be possible there, with isolated areas getting up to 20 inches. Eastern Jamaica, which will be on the west side of Matthew, could get 5 to 10 inches of rain, with isolated amounts of up to 15 inches. Matthew's Path Matthew's short-term track forecast was unchanged Monday night for the most part. Matthew was expected to track near Haiti and Jamaica, very close or over eastern Cuba and into the Bahamas for the next few days. Matthew was forecast to stay on a northward path and move a little faster through Tuesday night. Then on Wednesday Matthew could turn back to the northwest, and the Bahamas and Florida. Computer models have shifted Matthew's path westward after 48 hours and beyond, the Hurricane Center said. Some of the more reliable models are now showing a ridge of high pressure moving north of Matthew and across the Carolinas in three to four days. The new track forecast has again been shifted westward closer to Florida, forecasters said in their 10 p.m. discussion. While there remains significant uncertainty in the track of Matthew in the long range, the threat to Florida and the southeastern U.S. coast has increased, forecasters said earlier Monday. Matthew was expected to remain a major hurricane for the next few days but could weaken some near the end of the work week. 
tropical storm or hurricane conditions also affect parts of Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina later this week or this weekend, even if the center of Matthew remains offshore, the hurricane center said. It is too soon to specify what, if any, direct impacts Matthew might have on the remainder of the U.S. East Coast, the hurricane center said. At a minimum, very dangerous beach and boating conditions are likely along much of the U.S. East Coast later this week and weekend. Invest 98L The Hurricane Center was also watching another disturbance in the Atlantic on Monday night. Invest 98L was located about 430 miles northeast of the northern Leeward Islands and appeared more organized on Monday night. The Hurricane Center said some development would be possible over the next few days as the system moves to the northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. The Hurricane Center raised the chances of 9AL developing into a tropical depression or storm to 60% on Monday night.